Continuing our love of NSYNC at Billboard News today, we have JC Chazé. I'm sure you can tell, I'm pretty excited, man. Hey, there we go. You, you got the jacket swag and the shirt. And dude, I'm already obsessed with the hair. Classic JC. I'm and giving you. you like circa 2000 something. <laughs> nice. Well, I'm pumped. Let's talk about how you're in the UK working with Meow Mix. I never in a million years thought I would be in this situation but when this whole thing came about they're doing this whole new campaign and it's based around the 90s and they're putting together their own cat boy band so when they were kind of looking for references uh that's when i got involved and uh as you can see i i like cats a bit the song is iconic and they they threw a little remix on it because they're remixing the food as well so it's been fun to kind of be a part of something like that. Wait, 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 wait. So you're singing with a cat boy band? Well, I don't know how they're gonna cut it together. I will say I've, I've definitely sung along. I've done my share of singing along to this thing. Well, I can't wait to see what it looks like. When I think pop stars and cats though, I normally think of Taylor Swift. Is that gonna be you now? I certainly hope so. Um, I, I will say, I think my first experience with uh, pop stars and cats was actually Janet Jackson because she had the song Black Cat, remember back in the day. That was my early point of reference. And I, you know, it's fun to say that, that uh, Taylor's now kind of got the whole cat thing going on, but I definitely have my own cat thing going on as well. So, all right, JC, let's talk about top NSYNC moments. I'm obsessed with your run in Selfish during the Pop Odyssey tour. But what's at the top of your list? The touring is amazing, um, but you have those one-off moments and they're gonna kind of stand out with you because you're among your peers. When we played the Super Bowl with, with Aerosmith and Mary J and Nelly and all those guys, like that was amazing. Well, you talk about one-off moments. What about Michael Jackson at the VMAs? We did that uh, right back to back because he had his special and we were playing his special and he was doing our gig with MTV. And half of that was literally just improv. And the moment we were like, hey, We'll be fine, don't worry. I mean, everybody was just so pro and so on. It was, it was a great, it was a great moment for us. And did you realize that very iconic moment of you on the floor looking through the glass on the No Strings Attached tour would be such an awakening moment for young millennials? That was just a bit of fun, honestly. You, you, you never know what the future holds. You might get an idea or two, but you know, none of us are real fortune tellers, so. Uh, but yeah, look, it turns out that I might have been onto something. Well, you were definitely onto something. And I love seeing everybody doing the things out there, dancing and performing. Even JT's beat your feet. Did, did you see I that moment? Say, come did on, you, everybody's did you, going Did you text hard, them about man. it? Tell everybody be nice. I'll say that. Tell everybody be nice, man. We're grown folks these days. And I asked Lance, so you know I have to ask you. Reunion? We're always talking to each other. We're always teasing each other about something. So you never know what could happen. We are always friends and we are always talking. So you just never know. Well, we'll be rating right here, JC. I'm a huge fan. Thanks for all you've done for pop culture and thanks for calling in. My God, thank you so much, man.